Greetings, my YouTube friends. Until I get banned again, uh, I'm going to be going, focusing on Dot Kids channel for a while. My End Times news headline and my Daily Motion. I will still put something on there every once in a while. My main focus is here and on Facebook, the numerous channels that I have here. And since I'm going to be focusing on this channel, doing more videos, I'm going to open up comments because I have time to place them now. But here's here's the only warning: if you come to my video and leave an anti-biblical comment, a comment that does not align with the Bible, some curse word, some pornography, some smart aleck comment, I'm going to ban you from the channel and delete your comment. And if you get a new account, I'll ban you and delete you again, and so on and so on. I'm not going to have everybody's comments taken down just because a few bad apples are trying to spoil the barrel. So let's go ahead and go to Scripture right now. My, my heart is heavy right now, my friends. The rapture is imminent, and very few are ready to fly. Very few Christians are ready to fly. The unsaved definitely aren't ready, but very few Christians are living, picking up their crosses daily, following Christ, staying in the Word, praying, witnessing, repenting of sins after we're saved. Let's go to Scripture, and then I'll talk some more about the time we're in. Matthew 24, some of my favorite Scripture, the King James Version Bible. Let's start with verse 1 and just read down for a while. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall be there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. You see it everywhere, my friends. Everywhere. False prophets, false Christ. Ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Wars and rumors of wars every day. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Everywhere, my friends, these, these things are happening night and day. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. You shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Many Christians are being killed and martyred all around the world. Hasn't really started here in Obama land yet, but trust me, if the rapture, if the Lord tarries too much longer, it's going to be here. But hated? <laughs> I, I am hated. People hate my guts because of my stand for Jesus. And many Christians, many of the few, any of the few, who stand only on the, on the true word of God, will be hated. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another again everywhere, night and day. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many, all over the internet, all over churches, everywhere false prophets deceiving the masses, leading Christians down the pit. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. The love, true love, kindness, has gone the way of the dinosaurs. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You got it? Endures till the end. Saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood and repenting of sins after you're saved. Pick up your cross and, and following Christ every day, witnessing, praying, staying in the Word. That's what the Word means by enduring till the end. You shall be saved then. The Gospel, Jesus Christ's death, was free, but it wasn't cheap. And this Gospel of the Kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. The Gospel, my friends, has officially reached the entire world. Even in the Pygmy tribes, they've heard the Gospel. They're even making Bibles now in the, the language, in the text, of pygmies and others. So let's go ahead and go through. Just look at the world today. Everything that I described is happening all the time. All the time. You can't, I can't even begin. It would take me hours and hours and hours to describe all that's happened. The Hosea 4 3 prophecy, all the animals and birds dying and being taken away, like they were on the beach with those hundreds of millions of fish disappeared overnight, are happening all the time. You look in the Middle East, Psalm 83 war, the Isaiah 17 prophecy, the Gog-Magog war, all lining up perfectly around the corner. It's it, Everything you can look at is happening. Look at, Go through my videos and just punch in key words like Gog-Magog or Psalm 83 or Isaiah 17. Pull up all the videos that I've done. I don't want to rehash all of those. But just know, I, this is all that I do. I look at the news night and day online, and, I, and I'm constantly finding things. And I'm constantly putting them out on Facebook. And now that I'm back on Doc Kids again, until they decide to ban me again, <coughs> I'm going to put them out here. But look around 
at your various look around the different videos the different um, ministries on YouTube and see how many of the of the true Christ the say the true Christians see how many of them regularly get banned by YouTube because of false flags and because of people lying and hating their guts that should be an eye-opener to let you know who you're following because anyone who takes a true stand for Jesus Christ nowadays will be hated they will hate your guts I've had to block thousands of people on Facebook because of the hatred and the gnashing of teeth and most of those are Christians my friends I'm constantly being warned and threatened on Facebook as well constantly being banned on YouTube for preaching the truth I don't do things that are bad on here I follow the rules and when I'm banned I appeal it and I show them I'm not doing anything wrong but for whatever reason they refuse and they ban me and the ban was lifted and again as long as the ban is lifted I'll be preaching the word on here again and if, if the ban doesn't get lifted if, and when the ban if I get banned again then I'll go back to end times news headline and daily motion on a regular basis I'm always gonna get the word out Jesus will always have his people his watchmen his Christians his teachers his preachers get the word out it will never be stopped and I do everything in love that's what gets me I don't know why uh, YouTube has gone against me all the times and, and refused to uh, overturn the appeals, you know, over, overturn the bans when I've showed I've done nothing wrong, but that's between them and the Lord. All I can do is put the word out, and I do it in love. I love everybody. I love everybody that works at YouTube. The, the people at YouTube who purposely ban me, I love them. I will never, ever turn my love to hatred because Jesus Christ never hated. He always loved. I'm going to pray for those who need Jesus and I'm going to put the word out in a loving kind and truthful way and people don't like that because they get convicted they don't want to hear the truth and it just makes them angry it makes them gnash their teeth at us that's not my issue my issue is to preach the truth because I don't want to see anyone die and go to hell I want to see all be able to go to heaven forever so if you're not ready for the imminent rapture you're about to be left behind for seven years of hell on earth that makes today's diseased evil wicked world look like Disneyland with a speed pass to go to the front of the line it's going to be horrendous. I'm, I'm linking up my end times, my tribulation survival guide. That I link up every video on every channel I have now when I put a video out. It'll show you everything that's going to happen in the imminent tribulation. It's also the main video on my page. When you go to my page, it's the one you'll see for the featured video. Share it with everybody you possibly can. It's going to be worth more than diamonds and gold after the imminent rapture because it's going to tell everyone what they have to do to make the rapture. Not to make the rapture, they've missed the rapture, but to make it to heaven on the last chance and to avoid the mark of the beast because you take the mark of the beast my friends you're finished but if you've never been saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood or if you're a backslider you believe the lies of once saved always saved and I know people spread it like wildfire I know it's the, the predominant belief in today's false church but you know what it doesn't make it true the Bible says at least 250 times you have to repent of your sins after you're saved you won't step foot into heaven that's God's word not mine or yours as God's and I've got it all I've got it all on lengthy Word documents with commentary. Send me a message. I'll send it to you. I've sent it all around the world. But either God's lying or man's lying. Who is it? God doesn't lie. So it's time, my friends. If you're one of those two groups, let's pray now before your time runs out. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day, went back to heaven, be at the right-hand side of the Father to make a place forever for all your children. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In the precious name I ask it, amen. <clears throat> when you pray that prayer, you need to go ahead and do these next steps. When you pray that prayer, Jesus says that all who ask, come to me and ask, shall be saved. But next, key things. One, get your King James Version Bible. It's a living, breathing word of God. It'll feed your spirit and soul the way you feed your body with food and water every day. Pray to Jesus daily. He loves you. He's your new best friend. He wants to talk with you every day. Get water baptized by being dunked under water like Jesus was. If you were sprinkle baptized in the past, it doesn't count, my friends. Do it over again. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit, sanctified from head to toe by living for Christ, by praying, by reading the Bible every day. Take that King James Version Bible to church. When the preacher speaks, make sure it matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out. And lastly, repent, 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 repent to make sure you repent of your sins after you're saved if you want to go to heaven. I love you all, my friends. I really do. And I always, always, always am here for you. If you want me to pray for you, for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn or deserve it when I prayed for it. He gave it to me. 
If you pray, ask me to, I'll pray for you, expecting a miracle in your life, knowing that God will perform that miracle if it's in his holy will. And if he does, all because of him, nothing to do with me. I'm a least in his kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. And sometimes messages don't get through to me on YouTube or through Google or through Facebook or whatever. If you don't hear back from me, just keep trying to message me. And I'm going to pray anyways. When I pray my prayers every single day, I always pray for all my brothers and sisters in Christ, even those that I don't know, even those that I don't know anything about what their needs are. I pray for you as a blanket prayer as well, that God would move in your life. So I am praying for you regardless. Satan will never win. Let's witness and pray every day, my friends. Time is short. The rapture is so close. It's imminent. Any second of any day, Jesus is going to break the skies. Only God knows. Man doesn't know. Jesus don't even know. The angels don't know. Only God knows. But God told us if we watch and wait excitedly, he would tell us to give us a sermon to know the season. We're in the last moments of the season, my friends. Share this video. Get the word back out. Doc Kids channel is back up. And again, if I get banned again, just look for me on End Times News Headline and Daily Motion because I'll be on there right away with a new video to explain what happened. And I'll keep rolling with those until the ban gets undone again if I'm not raptured or dead first. You guys have a blessed weekend, a blessed week, and I'll talk to you next time whenever the Lord lays up in my heart. Take care.